Okay guys, welcome back to Medieval 2 and Stainless Steel mod where we're trying to play as Poland. Um, we've been attacked by the Holy Roman Empire and the Danes and it's already turn 19. I think we got attacked by Holy Roman Empire on turn 16. My senior duke, already 74. You know what? He's actually been fighting a lot of battles and he's got zero command. He's fought a lot of battles, even though it's only 19 turns, and um, not gained any command. Ah. He has a lot of authority and piety, though. Right, I mean, he's going to die very soon, probably next turn. But uh, we'll try to save Thorn, because that is my current capital. Do I need to change it right now? Hmm. I've only got one diplomat at the moment. I'm actually starting to lose money. Oh, the Danes backed away from Thorn. That's good. That is good. Yeah, the, both the Danes and the uh, HRE have been very aggressive in this campaign. Very. Because they usually go after a bunch of oh, uh, rebel settlements first. So the Pope is going to let them attack me, declare war on me, attack me, take my capital, and then I have to leave them alone. That ain't fair. Uh, how many turns? Five. I need. I need some military. That's what I need. They are not as happy as I needed them to be, but that's okay. You can actually get a unit now. And we can save some money. They'll come out. Oh, did they? They didn't go onto the ships. Where did they go? Because they withdrew from there. We didn't even see them. Ah, there he is. Captain Ernst. Right, lots of Hungarians out there. They really build up fast. Nope, sending more out there. Right. How many turns? Seven. Right, so we can get that back, I think. He's down to six. I still at nine. I mean, the Danes and the Germans have been going to war with a lot of Catholic factions, but they're getting away with it at the moment. Which ain't fair. Just ain't fair. Right. We will send those out. This is our best recruitment centre at the moment. What to do with him? Suppose I could go and put in a watchtower somewhere. Uh, what, 200? Yeah. Give you some better armor. Can I help, my lord? 
Pirates. There be pirates. I tell you, if the Hungarians turn on us, we're finished. Hmm. Thing is, if I initiate an attack, that's going to upset the Pope, isn't it? But if I siege them down, and they have to sally out, it might not actually trigger that. Ah. <clears throat> See where Leopold Babenberg goes. About breaking even. I'm sure the Danes and the Germans um, are going to be at war very soon if they're not already. Now, by now, uh, there should be a new faction vote up for the Game of Thrones mod, and you should all be out voting for that, because I know you love that mod so much, just as I do. King Jerusalem is dead. Ooh, that's rather loud. Today, yeah. the followers of the Prophet Muhammad rejoice, for Muslim armies have captured the holy city of Jerusalem. Oh, is the Pope going to send us on the crusade now? That was loud in my ear. Oh, we ran straight into him. Ran straight into him. What was the chances of running straight into him like that? I didn't even notice there was a jihad against Jerusalem. Hmm. They're falling now. But Denmark isn't. Oh, Lithuania is now going to come up and attack me, aren't they? As if we don't have enough problems already. Like we just don't have enough problems already. Right. Ah, oh, he's got a bunch of mercenaries, including Swabian swords, which are good, and mercenary crossbows. Hmm. He's now 76. We are allied to them through marriage. I'm going to embed him. Right, we could send some units to help out. But he might come over here then. Let's see. Diplomat wandering around in Libya. Yep, here comes Lithuania. 
We're between a rock and a hard place already, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, we can definitely call a crusade against them. Right, now uh, we're not going to be able to get that one now. Right, here's what we do. Trying to get those ones up. Right, where did uh, Babenberg go? Did he get pushed back? Or has he gone into hiding? Right, now those are our allies, so. I am going to initiate the attack. That's upset the Pope, but better to have an upset Pope than to lose these settlements. Right. Let's see how much it's suffered. Two points? Maybe? My lord. Men, march. Already got a priest there. How do you come on over? Okay. God be with us, men. We march to battle. Faith and courage have made us victorious. Honor and courage. Use my senior duke whilst I've got him. I like the wind. <clears throat> now trying to go for the high ground. Or just get away from us. They've only got one decent unit. Uh, good charge. Back off. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. See if we can squish them. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. 
Only half the enemy force remains. Right, let's get you over there. I'm about to get squished. The enemy general lies dead. We have sent the core, the enemy army. Run! We must pursue and hunt them down. Go ahead and run. Nine percent. Still getting shot. Stop. All civilized people will be all and we are most civilized because we declared total war. All right, eight percent. Good victory. Maybe the final victory for our senior duke. Now that he's getting close to dying, he's trying to get on the good side of God, I guess. We just ransomed your troops. We should be thankful. They're about to upgrade only these six men. Ah, it goes from 1% to 0%. Annoying. Watch the Hungarians backstab me. Watch them, watch them do it. Plenty of spies out there. That's an Imperial spy. Sixty. Right, you've been besieged by Venice. Yes. Right, hopefully that'll keep them busy there. Especially if the Hungarians come after them. Uh, they'll fight back against the Lithuanians. There won't be too many Lithuanians. Looks like Lithuania's taken this rebel settlement now. Oh, I did not fix up my capital. Alright. Hungry, do not backstab me, please. Hungry's coming up. There they are. They've moved away. Oh, they're attacking me already. Ah, oh, they got cavalry and some axemen. Which are good units, actually. Uh, I've only got one missile. 
could be a very short battle. Meet and defeat. Yeah, it's only a palisade, isn't it? Still, to be able to shoot them from up here, though. Very short range on these. How much equipment have they got? One ram. I suppose it's possible we could burn it. They're trying to push it over that hump. The embankment. Very hard time. Alright, we're now firing. See there, the enemy are battering down the gate. Don't appear to be killing many of them. Do we? Go on, get over there. The vaults are no longer ours. The enemy have taken them. Get in there. What's their most dangerous unit? That cavalry? I'm killing them all. Oh. The enemy general, the enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. They have. There's the biggest unit. The axemen probably can't shoot them from there. In the course of battle, for defeat seems almost certain. Who's looking? We have lost half of our men. They are shaken. They are wavering. No volley. They're not firing very quickly, are they? of battle goes our way. Let us pray it remains as such. We won it. Barely. This is a clear victory that got well, they, they said it was a clear victory. Hmm. Right. Get 
you in there. Didn't have to fix anything up. Yes, they've gone to war. Great. Now the Papal States likes us. Well, we're at six. They're at six. They're at nine. We could call the Crusade against Vilnius. Or Riga. He went for it. See how you like that. I bet you don't. Alright, well, uh, that's the end of this episode.